Hi everyone, thank you for joining and welcome to today's webinar. Today we'll be diving into how you can secure the cloud with AppRiver. My name is Nicole Vester and I'll be your moderator for today's session. Before we get started, I have a few housekeeping items to cover. First, today's webinar will be recorded and available on our website after this live session and will also be emailed directly to you if you're joining us in real time today. Also, I'd love to hear from you during today's presentation. If you have any questions for us, please type them into the Q&A section in the Teams event. We'll, we'll be answering questions at the end of the session. If we don't get to your question during today's webinar, we will be sure to follow up afterwards. Now, before we jump in, it is my pleasure to introduce our speakers for today's session. As I mentioned, my name is Nicole Vesser. I'm a Senior Solutions Manager here at Able Solutions, and I'm excited to be your host for the session today. Joining me are two esteemed members of our team. Paul Welford is a Channel Sales Engineer for AppRiver, our partner who you will learn more about during this webinar. Paul specializes in email security, compliance, and productivity solutions to help our customers stay safe against an ever-growing list of cyber threats. And Jason Bell is the strategist and chief technologist at Able Solutions. He is an expert in the design and delivery of high performance information technology infrastructures and applications that address complex business solutions and is passionate about partnering with organizations to craft unique solutions to meet their individual needs. One last thing before I hand things over, we will be giving away a $150 Amazon e-gift card at the end of this webinar to someone who has joined us live today. You should see a URL at the bottom of this slide and you will see the same URL at the bottom of each slide. Please take a moment over the next few minutes to submit that short form to be entered for the gift card giveaway today. So now without any further ado, Jason, I will hand the mic over to you. Thank you and good morning. First things, a little about Able Solutions. For about 26 years, Able Solutions has focused on partnering with customers to develop solutions that deliver business excellence in profitability, productivity, and competitive leadership. We have been a Microsoft Gold partner since 2001 and provide our customers expertise in all things Microsoft, including Office 365, Power Platform, Dynamics, and Azure services such as machine learning and cognitive services. As an App River Platinum partner, we provide our customers with advanced security features, which you're going to go into deeper detail today. This partnership also enables us to directly provide our customers with Microsoft licensing. Our consultants bring decades of experience through a partnership approach that delivers the right solution for the right price that meets your specific business need. Among the top concerns of cloud implementations is security and loss of data. We've all heard about the news of reports from large organizations that have been victims of cybercrime. According to a 2019 study from the Ponoman Institute, the cost of a data breach is close to $4 million. The loss of data has far reaching implications from lost business to regulatory fines and, of course, remediation costs, not to mention the fallout with customers and business partners. Identifying and preventing those inside your organization from either inadvertently or intentionally sending confidential information outside your organization requires a great deal of effort. A common misconception regarding security and compliance features within Microsoft 365 is they are good to go without intervention from either IT personnel or the business owner. That simply is not the case. You need a tool, use a tool like Microsoft's Secure Store in the Azure Security Center to understand and approve your security posture by implementing best practices. This tool is available to all tenant admins and provides insights into what actions help secure, uh, helps close secure, help close security gaps. With more recommendations and security vulnerabilities identified, it's harder to triage and prioritize response. We are here to ensure you have not only the tools to move beyond assessing your environment, but we also have the ability to identify and move past those security risks. And that is where our partner AppRiver comes in. And Paul will tell you how we can do this. Thanks, Jason. Hi, everyone. My name is Paul Welford. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. Jason, if you don't mind, uh, uh, let me take over here. It's all yours. All right. 
So I'm Paul Welford with the uh, App River Channel Sales Engineering team. I work closely with uh, with uh, Able Solutions um, on the back end. Um, I actually uh, spent a good amount of time on the uh, migration team, uh, learning the nuts and bolts of what Office 365 is today, uh, learning how to uh, properly stand up uh, security solutions around Office 365. Really, that's where uh, App River came in and App River's uh, relationship with uh, with Able. Um, so a little bit of background on AppRiver. Uh, we have uh, been partners with uh, with uh, Microsoft since about 2008, which is around the time that Office 365 was launched by Microsoft. Uh, we were actually chosen by Microsoft to stand on stage with them at their uh, one of their events. They call it Ignite, where they uh, where they promote all of their new solutions um, around the modern workplace. And and I say modern workplace, it didn't used to be the modern workplace, but now it is. And we'll get into that a little bit later. Um, but anyway, so. We stood on stage with those guys, and the reason was we had a huge uh, stance in the exchange world, which is email. You know, everybody in the world wanted to have email and uh, move into what was called the future at that time. Nobody really cared about communications outside of just sending and receiving email. So we built a huge hosted exchange world, and Microsoft decided that uh, that it would be nice to have us as a, as a promoter for their new product, which was Office 365. It's actually now moved into what we call Microsoft 365, and which is very much focused on productivity. Um, productivity being not only your email, but your office communications, your applications. Um, sorry, to, your uh, applications. Um, and and from that point, we actually uh, we actually moved into what we like to call our cybersecurity side of things with email security. So our original platform was built on uh, what we like to call um, advanced threat protection nowadays. So it's an email security filtering system that we uh, that uh, is able to be wrapped around Office 365. It's able to um, uh, be moved into an exchange environment. It's also a an on-prem exchange environment, and it's also able to be wrapped around G Suite. But for the prime, for the focus of this conversation, it's actually Microsoft. Um, we've also moved away from or into more of a data compliance side. So, uh, not only do we have cybersecurity offers, but we do have uh, data compliance uh, that is unified archiving and email encryption, which we can jump into a little bit later. Uh, we back that stuff up with uh, with also our uh, Office 365 audit migration support, as well as our large and client end user support. So matter, no matter the size of the project, AppRiver and Able Solutions are here to help you with what we call phenomenal care. Um, and Nicole, it looks like you took over. Uh, Sharon, could you go ahead and go to the next slide? Um, so with that being said, um, you know, everybody loves Office 365, loves the directions that it's headed in, but it is honestly the largest conglomerate of emails on the face of the planet today. Um, so with that, hackers realized that. So everybody in the hacking world jumped on to Office 365. It's a very easy target. Um, if you don't use proper password postures and things like that, you're going to get fished. Um, it's a very simple process. So when we built out uh, what we call advanced email protection, um, the focus of it was phishing. And I know a lot of you have probably actually seen these phishing emails flying around today. Um, and hopefully you haven't clicked on any, but if you have, of course, AppRiver enables here to help, um, which we'll get into a little bit later on how we can actually help. So what they're doing today is they're actually taking share file attachments. Um, they're dumping weird links into those um, attachments that hide. Um, they're also having um, your, um, your PDFs are plugged with all kinds of crazy uh, links and information hidden in there. Um, and one of their biggest, one of the biggest uh, things that we, uh, we've seen also is the uh, transfer of money simply through um, email. So they'll target not only just your, you know, your C-level guys, that's what everybody wants to protect, you know, your chief information officers, your CFOs and things like that. But it starts, the attack starts with an email to actually one of your uh, front desk people or maybe a executive assistant, which I'll show a, uh, a use case here in a few minutes um, where a, uh, at a hospital, a, um, uh, an executive assistant was targeted um, by a hacker and uh, ended up losing a substantial amount of money. But anyway, so these are some examples of phishing emails that you'll see flying around easily skipped over if you're not paying attention through your busy day. When you're using things like our advanced email threat protection, it'll catch these things for you so you don't have to worry about it or your end users don't have to worry about it. Um, and Nicole, will you go to our next slide, please? 
Um, and this is another example of uh, not only a phishing email, but we call this password harvesting. So it really works in, in, in kind of a, a um, kind of a stack, what we call a business email compromise. It starts with a phishing email. Once you get that phishing email, you open it up. It looks fun. This is fine. You see this. You recognize these Office 365 portals, right? So, you, so it'll say something along the lines of, "Hey, can my IT my IT team ask me to reset the password? And um, could you please, um, you know, update as soon as possible?" And then when you click the link, this is what you get. So you comfortably reset your password and go on about your business. From there, these hackers will actually inject rules into your environment with your new password and start forwarding emails out of the environment to them so they can build a case against you and impersonate people and start impersonating your C-levels, impersonating your HR team to, for their ultimate goal of you know, contain, or taking money away from the company. And if anybody's ever reset their password in Office 365, you can tell these are very, very good mockups of what the portal looks like. And even in, if you can see that uh, arrow that says not an Office 365 URL, that's something that we actually do today built into our advanced email threat protection is read those URLs for you so you don't have to worry about it. We can actually block them. Um, and actually, if you transition into the next slide, um, we'll go into a, a use case or actually a, um, an issue that uh, I worked on personally with a, a very large hospital um, out of the Midwest. It was 200 users. Um, they were it's a large hospital for the uh, for the area that it was in, um, but it was 200 users and a, a phishing email was actually sent uh, to an executive assistant um, and she doing her due diligence as soon as she possibly could. Uh, she reset her password, went on about her day. It, um, it took from my understanding and the research that I did on the project it took three days before she actually realized what was going on. But the hacker had gained access to her mailbox. He'd actually began to inject rules into her mailbox. Um, so he was forwarding emails out of her mailbox. He was actually taking um, emails from the finance team and the HR team, hiding these things in her RSS feed. And what he was doing on his end at some type of Gmail account or something, he was taking uh, he was taking the signatures and things like that of the C levels and building out approval emails. So on the day that he was ready to to perform his attack, he would actually send in an email impersonating a CEO or a CFO to get approval for finances. As you can see on the screen, the number that actually ended up being wire transferred to the wrong account was seventy-eight thousand dollars. So. Essentially, what he did was he watched the communications back and forth between the HR and the finance team. He stole signatures. He actually caught an email, which, in my opinion, huge HIPAA violation. They were not using any type of encryption or this could have been avoided as well. So kind of a stack here, you know, if they would have been using some form of email threat protection to filter their emails, the phishing email would have never came in. She would have never reset her password. Even if those things do come through, if you're utilizing some form of email encryption at that point, you know, there's no way for him to get in and see the account numbers that are flying around through the email information um, to approve any type of uh, wire transfers, but they weren't using the stuff. So essentially, he impersonated the CEO, the CFO, and money was transferred to the wrong account, uh, looking around $78,000. Um, at that time, working with Able Solutions, they were actually notified by the IT team. We had They had no clue what happened. They essentially just called them and said, hey, we need help. You know, at this point, uh, we know that somewhere we were compromised. We've done certain injections um, and um, uh, penetration testing on the network. We can't figure out where this guy got in to uh, have this money uh, wired to the wrong account. Luckily, Abel working with AppRiver, they reached out to us and said, hey, this is the case. What can we do? And comes the Office 365 security audit tool. The Office 365 security audit tool is actually a tool that scans your tenant, and we'll go into that in a little bit later, um, a little more detail, but it can take any tenant or domain, um, no matter what it is, and scan it and gives very detailed information so that we can see where the uh, gaps in the environment are. Environment are. Uh, 
Once we scanned the environment, we actually found the rules that were forwarding mail off to his Gmail account. Uh, we also learned that there were extremely weak passwords in the environment. They weren't properly maintaining a good security posture. Um, and none of the users are utilizing multi-factor authentication today. And in my professional opinion, when it comes to cybersecurity, step one in every environment should always be implementing MFA. It is a huge stopping point for hackers because there's no way for it to be hacked at this point in time. And you can Google it, look it up, test me on that one. Um, so anyway, so we found these weak passwords. Uh, we realized that no MFA was there. At that time, we began our process of cleaning everything up. So we removed the rules from her mailbox uh, with the uh, deep dive into everybody's environment. We were able to actually see that um, there were other rules in other mailboxes that he had gone, he had gotten into. So we cleaned all of those rules up. We, uh, we, we suggested that um, uh, they implement our AES filtering system, which is our advanced email security, which I've mentioned a couple of times and we'll go into a little more depth with that. Um, so it's going to check the inbound filtering. So any message that comes into the environment, it's going to scan it for malware, ransomware, certain types of phishing emails, and then the outbound as well. If a mailbox happens to be compromised some way and a large amount of mail is flying out of the environment for spamming purposes or whatever a hacker chooses to do, we can see that as well. Um, so once that stuff was implemented, we also went on to um, having everybody uh, set up or reset their passwords changing their password policy and implementing MFA. Changing that password policy, we removed it from being a weak or standard password to something that's very strong. You only have to reset it once every 90 days or even pushing it out. Microsoft has actually changed their stance on passwords because they know how weak a password can be today. They say change your password to uh, being strong and then actually um, implementing MFA because that's a constantly changing password every single day. So we had that implemented and once uh, these things were done, uh, the environment was cleaned up and from an end user standpoint. Now, when we focus on C levels, this is actually a feature you'll see on the screen here is called impersonation protection. This is something that is built specifically for the issue of if the hacker gets in the environment, if he gets past uh, the executive assistant and starts to attempt to impersonate anyone in the environment, uh, you can implement what we call our impersonation protection. That's a free feature built into our advanced email security and activate it for all of your C levels, which we recommend all C levels, all of your finance team, anybody that really has the ability to approve any sort of transfer or wire transfer in the company or has access to sensitive information, you want to implement that impersonation protection. But that's kind of how we built out um, the security posture uh, to clean up what happened with this uh, with this hospital out in the Midwest. We'll move on to that next slide there. Um, so diving into more details on what our tools actually do, uh, starting with the Office 365 audit tool, like we talked about in this uh, in this use case, uh, this is how we figured out what was missing, what gaps needed to be closed. Uh, the Office 365 security audit tool. It actually scans the tenant. It'll give you a list of your administrators, what their password policies are. It'll give you what permissions they have. It does the same thing for the end users, you know, what their mailboxes uh, password policies are if they have MFA set up, which is multi-factor authentication, uh, where those passwords are being sent, what phone number that goes to. Um, it'll also scan all of the inboxes in the environment and gives you every single inbox rule on the tenant. And that's how we realized what the hacker had done and how far he had made it. So we saw the inbox rules in the executive assistant's uh, mailbox, and we could see that he had configured rules that would forward mail to her RSS feed or a hidden folder in her environment. And then we also saw the forwarding rule that forwarded messages out to his mailbox so that he could actually, um, he could actually build his, uh, his case and send in emails to impersonate the C-levels. Um, this tool actually also creates one-click mitigation. So to remove those rules the second that we saw them without having to take time to go in and build out certain scripts to do secret things or super hacker, uh, hacker stuff, we could go into our portal and actually one-click mitigate these issues. Um, it also makes suggestions on what you should do to secure your your uh, your environment to create a better posture. You know whether it be implementing uh, email security, which is our filtering system, uh, implementing encryption, or adding archiving to protect yourself against not only your outside but your inside internal employees. Um, and slide to the next slide there. 
So actually wrapping all of this stuff together, kind of in a bow, which we call today actually the secure cloud. Um, the secure cloud is a um, is a posture that is is essentially uh, a platform that was built around Office 365, right? So you initially have your setup of Office 365, you have your users built in. Now, how do I protect my environment? So that's where we moved into a secure cloud. Uh, the secure platform is something we use to uh, basically easily product or, uh, or produce provisioning, easily provision and manage an environment. So from one single pane of glass, your administrators, which would be able and AppRiver can go in and easily set up users, configure users, control your mail flow, make sure that things are properly managed from a security standpoint. All of our tools are actually simple to implement for end users, they're hands off. No one has to go to the end user's desk. These things are done all on the back end, which allows for that modern workplace, that workflow to continue on. So from the security platform is where our security suite comes into play. And we have the gold standard in encryption, which is we have pre-built DLP features um, that is all built into the back end. There's no type of, there's no, there's no need for any end user education. They essentially send their email and artificial intelligence scans that email and encrypts it for them. Going back to our hospital, you know, with that use case, if we would have had um, email encryption in play there, it would have been able to scan those emails that were in the environment and realize that they were sending unencrypted banking information and encrypt that stuff for them. Um, another one of our um, uh, positions in security suite is our archiving tool. Our archiving tool is something that uh, is, is going to protect you in the event that some sort of litigation happens. Um, so we not only can archive emails, but we archive third party solutions, such as LinkedIn, um, Facebook, Twitter, Slack, um, Skype, any sort of communication that flies around that needs to be archived. And essentially at one point in time, if a litigation team shows up and needs that information, we can easily find that information. There's also a tool built into archiving that's called Simply Share. So when that litigation team needs that information, we can easily share that information via a simple link, create permissions for the litigation team, and that's all they can view. And last but not least, one of my uh, favorites is our advanced threat protection. What was, that's the uh, solution that AppRiver was built on back in 2002. Uh, advanced threat protection has been around for a long time, and it is, it is backed by our cyber intelligence, as you can see on the screen here. Um, those guys, they're gentlemen that sit behind the desk all day long writing rules. We have up to 10 million handwritten rules and upwards of 600 million artificial intelligence written rules. So we not only have AI built sitting there protecting you guys against uh, any threats that are flying around, but we also have gentlemen sitting behind a desk seeing uh, the phishing rules to help with what we call zero day threats. And these zero day threats, one of the, one of the examples I like to use is what we call uh, the Drake uh, virus. Um, at one point in time, there was a, uh, there was a virus going around that had, um, had, was built by PowerShell and they obfuscated uh, this, uh, this script with a ton of layers of, um, of uh, data. And once you broke down to what the script was actually built on and you know, to inject their, uh, their viruses, it was actually using lyrics from the uh, hip hop star Drake. And artificial intelligence was then able to catch this because every time a system would catch it, the lyrics would change. So the, essentially at that time, the code was completely different. If it wasn't for our human eye sitting there building these rules, we would have never caught it. So that's one, one of the big things when people ask me, why do you have gentlemen sitting there writing rules? There's a perfect example. Artificial intelligence couldn't catch that, but we could as humans. Um, so that's part of why we do cyber intelligence and, and um, our cyber intelligence uh, threat analysts um, are sitting there. And then we also have our compliance experts. And those guys are the ones building the rules that are uh, working with archiving, as well as email encryption building the lexicons that protect your, uh, your HIPAA environments, your FINRA environments, um, your, um, your uh, FGLBA, uh, your education. They build all those rules by hand. So you guys do not have to do that stuff. Um, and then last but not least, 24-7, 365, phenomenal care. That's our support team that backs up ABLE every day. Anytime ABLE has an issue with something and they need to reach out to AppRiver, they can contact us at any given time. Um, and that's always 
US-based support. So it eliminates that need to call Microsoft and wait in a queue for days on it. But that's a deep dive into what our secure cloud is and, and the direction that we're headed in to protect you guys. And moving into a little more detail on what some of our, um, our uh, tools do today, um, if you'll go to that next slide there, Nicole, it's more of the information on our threat protection. Um, something we rolled out recently was actually our dynamic URL. So we're actually scanning URLs today, not only looking for just your malware and your business email compromise inside of a email PDF or an attachment, and we're actually looking at the URLs. We're rewriting those URLs to make sure that people um, aren't, uh, uh, you know, injecting things into a URL. You know, we're doing that stuff with artificial intelligence. You do not have to worry about it. Um, in a little more detail actually on our archiving in the next slide. Um, go right here. Yeah. So our archiving, uh, one of the biggest questions we get when it comes to archiving is, well, what can you do beyond email? And like I said earlier, um, there's a ton of information that can be archived in the world today. You know, I briefly mentioned uh, LinkedIn and Facebook and, uh, and Twitter accounts. It doesn't only go in and, and actually archive just those and those posts that may be malicious in the environment or trade information that shouldn't be uh, sent out. It also gets those direct messages. So LinkedIn direct messaging, it's gonna archive that stuff. Um, SMS, if you have text messages that need to be archived for compliance purposes, we can actually gather that information as well. Um, and then onto that simply share feature, uh, that, that is something in my opinion that is unmatched. Um, there are a lot of solutions out there for archiving. Um, even Office 365 has an archiving solution in it, but it is not simple to share that information. You have to build a drive or you have to buy a drive and put the information on the drive, mail the drive, go through all of these steps. Whereas with Simply Share, you're essentially creating a link, granting permissions to that link, to a specific word, a specific date range, sending that link off to a litigation team, allowing them to dive into it and do what they need to do. And if something else comes up during that time, then they ask you for an additional information rather than mailing the drive back and having to add things to that drive, you can just readdress those simply share permissions and send that link back and you're good to go. And, and actually the next slide, Nicole, will be our, uh, our email encryption. So this is something um, that came along from a uh, gateway viewpoint. So as I mentioned earlier, this is something that doesn't require a download or a plugin or any user interaction. This is a simple setup between your team, Able and AppRiver. We can do this uh, configuration within a matter of minutes if everybody's on board and essentially no education to your end users at all because their emails are gonna be sent out to the, uh, to the Zix email encryption gateway. And that gateway looks at every message that leaves the environment and scans it. And we'll use HIPAA, for example, again, you know, using our use case. Um, you know, it's going to scan that email for patient information, um, account information, uh, specific names. And you can build all beyond just a HIPAA compliance filter if for some reason your environment wants to actually encrypt every single email with an attachment, we can also do that as well. So it gets very granular and detailed. Um, it's an out of the box, ready to go tool that can be played with as much as you like. Um, if we'll move on to, and that's kind of, kind of a picture painted out of what the security suite is and from a productivity, a security and a compliance standpoint. Um, our platform, like I said in the beginning, it's built for 365. These tools are able to be wrapped around 365. You're on-premise exchange and even G Suite, if you're anybody's on G Suite environments. We're gonna implement this stuff simply for a security suite that's gonna lock down your cloud. And then we're gonna back you up every day with cyber intelligence and phenomenal care. So I think I'm gonna pass it off to Jason now for the last slide here. Yes, all right. Thank you guys for attending. As an attendee of this webinar, we're offering a 30-day uh, trial for the following AppRiver products, uh, email threat protection, email encryption, and information archive. Additionally, we can perform a free Microsoft 365 security audit, as Paul discussed in the in your production tenant, um, and reach out to us at securemycloud at ablesolutions.com to request your free trials and an audit. Also, Able Solutions offers a Microsoft 365 security assessment that takes a deeper dive into determining active threats and your current Microsoft 365 security posture. 
And with that, um, I think we're ready to turn it over to Nicole for Q&A. Great, thank you, Jason. And thank you so much, Paul, that was awesome. Um, before we dive into questions, we do have a few here that have come in. Before we dive into those questions, one last reminder, if you're joining us live today and you haven't already, go ahead and go to that URL that's at the bottom of the slide, um, bit.ly slash win with app river. Um, fill out that short form and you'll be entered to win this $150 Amazon e-gift card that we'll be giving away in just a few moments. So if you haven't done that yet, go ahead and do that so that you can be entered for that giveaway. Okay, now on to a few questions that have come in. Um, so first of all, does the encryption service require the end user to do anything to encrypt an email? So does the end user have to do anything to encrypt the emails? Um, Paul, do you want to take that? Absolutely, yes. So, so as mentioned, it's all a back-end setup when you look at the uh, the email encryption solution that is a gateway. Um, so essentially, your end users are going to be in Outlook or they're going to be in Outlook Web Access. Uh, they're going to build out their email, put in whatever information they have to do or have to send and click send, whether it be internally uh, in your own domain or externally to another environment. This information is going to be encrypted by the gateway. Um, if you're if for some reason your end users are used to utilizing some toward a, some sort of um, uh, a DLP rule where they have to do some type of secure um, subject line manipulation, uh, we can set that up as well. But essentially the gateway is going to do all the work for the end users. Some of the encryption solutions out there today require a plugin um, that you have to initiate that encryption conversation. Um, so in my opinion, it's always better to take out uh, the ability for people like us um, to mess up and, and possibly create a HIPAA violation and allow the artificial intelligence and in, uh, to uh, manage all of that for us. Definitely. OK, great. Um, here's another one. I think I heard you talk about. I think I heard you answer this, but does the archiving service capture anything other than just email like social media comms? Yeah, absolutely. Um, again, you know, there's I want to say that at this point there's there's 30 other APIs that we have built out that will allow us to uh, dive in and actually uh, archive uh, any type of communications that people are sending. Great. Um, OK, we've got one here. Um, uh, who do I reach out to if you want to run this security audit on your 365 domain? So I can just go ahead and take that one. That's easy. Um, just send an email to the email that's on the slide that you're seeing here. That's securemycloud at ablesolutions.com. Just send an email over there um, and we can get you started with that. OK, um, let's see. There was a mention of impersonation protection. Is that an add on feature or is that something that that's standard that comes with the filtering service? Yes, yeah, so the security filtering service and uh, impersonation protection are built in together. Um, so when you sign up and uh, point your uh, essentially your DNS records uh, towards us, so all your we're filtering all of your mail. When you're configuring that, you will actually set up your impersonation protection, uh, which is built into our uh, portal. So anytime that you sign up or are utilizing our uh, filtering service, impersonation protection is there and ready to go. And um, ABLE and AppRivers Phenomenal Care is there to assist you with that setup process. Perfect. Um, OK, and then we've got one more. Let's see. Um, does the security audit itself require any user interaction? No, ma'am. So security audit is all done on the, uh, the back end. Um, with a few permissions, we scan the tenant and the results are built out into a CSV and uh, AppRiver and Able review the results together and uh, any threats or holes that we find in your environment, uh, we will reach out to you and clean those up as needed. Excellent. All right, and then there was one uh, more question that came through, um, whether or not this webinar will be available to listen to on demand after this. Yes, absolutely. It'll be posted to our Able Solutions website, so you can look for that. And um, as I mentioned, if you joined live today, we'll also follow up with an email with the recording as well. All right, so I think that's all the questions that have come through. Um, thank you again, Paul and Jason, for, for walking us through that. And now the moment we've been waiting for, the winner of our Amazon e-gift card is Dale Wassum. So Dale, congratulations. Um, you should receive an email later today with your gift card and we'll follow up to be sure that that makes its way to you. Um, but congrats. 
And thank you guys all so much for joining. And remember, don't fall victim to data loss or to breach. Engage with us to help your organization make the best use of the tools and features of Microsoft 365 so that we can ensure that you're maximizing your cloud investment and minimizing your risks. Contact us today to get started, and we hope to talk to you soon. Thanks so much.